everyone, um, so this is a full video, um, I thought I'd show you guys how to make a mint slice. I am going to time up this and put it as a short anyway, but I thought I'd show you guys the full thing. So let's get started. I've already weighed out my digestive biscuits, it's 400 grams, um, and then it's 150 grams of unsalted butter. And this needs to be melted in the microwave, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now that you have your melted butter done, um, so I made a mistake, it's actually 200 grams, not 150, because I'm not using condensed milk. What we're going to do is put this into here. This will create a nice little base. So there, I'm going to use a spatula, because I much prefer using spatulas rather than on the spoons or anything, because most of ours we use for other type of cookie and then we're just going to mix all of that together create a nice lovely base okay so now you've got your baking tray done it's supposed to be 23 centimeters i don't have that so i'm using a longer one i find that this works a lot better and then all you're going to do is grab your digestive mix and pour it in cake right now so all you're going to do is you're going to pop this in the fridge to chill while we make the filling okay so next bit is the tricky bit when we're using icing sugar so i've just gone and washed my bowl so that's all nice and clean and what we're going to do is we're going to weigh out 350 grams of icing sugar now that's made a mess so we've got 350 grams of icing sugar in here what we're going to add is we are going to add two teaspoons of peppermint extract. This is going to be minty. We'll put half a teaspoon of peppermint in the hole, just one if you want to, because it can be very overpowering, can peppermint. And then we use half a teaspoon of green food colouring so that it goes gonna take off by the ears and I've got some for a reason this is all for a charity event so I'm really just trying not to do really too much damage really ah so Put that in a place where you don't want to get everything anywhere and mix those two together. So a nice lovely food dye in. So the food dye is mainly just for the sole purpose of the fact that it's mint so it adds to the flavour a little bit. So I'm just going to do that and then about two to three tablespoons at a time so we're just going to add it says half a tablespoon or twice so we're just going to do that mix that in okay so now we have done it's kind of a very 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 quick thick cake batter I'd probably say and all you're going to do is just spread this over the top so what I do is Put like a few dollops here and there, like kind of spread it halfway. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. Purely because. So spread it so it's kind of like this. So that you can easily move it around and spread it into all the areas. Um, and yeah, just spread it. Okay, so here we have it. It's like a lime swimming pool. And um, so what I used is I ended up using this and doing it very, very gently. Just slow, small movements. Um, so this now has to chill for an hour. So yeah, I will see you in an hour. 